Good morning. Today I want to talk about using the archive module in Windows PowerShell 5.0 on my Windows 10 laptop. So, the first thing I like to do is to import the module that I'm going to use. Now, to use the, do that, I use the import module commandlet. But I also, uh, but when I'm working interactively at the Windows PowerShell console, then I just like to use the uh, IPMO. Uh, this is an alias for import module. And also, I don't like to do a whole lot of typing, so I just say uh, star archive uh, star, and then I press enter. At that point, I've uh, imported my module. Now I'd like to see what I've got, so I use the git command commandlet. And again, I use a module, uh, which is a, a, an alias, rather, GCM. And I specify the module and its archive. And I can see that there are two uh, commandlets or functions actually uh, in this particular module, compress archive and expand archive. Now what I want to do is to use compress archive in order to create some compressed files, zip files as it will, or actually you know, compressed archive, which I guess which is what we're calling it here. So I'd like to retrieve uh, space on my command line, so I'm going to set my location back to the root and that gives me a little bit more room to type and now I'm going to use Compress Archive. So I can press the Tab key to Tab Expand, and you can see it also uppercases and lowercases and all that kind of junk for me. So Compress Archive, uh, the path is the path to the file that I want to um, compress. So I'm going to say C colon backslash FSO and then I'm going to look for a particular file which is called a more complete text. Uh, it's just a text file. And then now I'm going to specify my destination path and that is also going to go back to CFSO and then this I'm going to call it a more .zip file. And when I do that you can see the little progress bar, the PowerShell progress bar popped up at the top, went zippity doo dah across and now it's done. And so now I can use get child item and specify my path and there's the more.zip file and there it is. Now if I want to look inside that then I'm going to have to import a module uh, or um, rather a, a .NET Framework class in order to do that. I can also explore that using Explore uh, if I wanted to do that as well. Now, if I look at the help on uh, Compress Archive, so I say help, um, then uh, it comes up here and it tells me that the path, uh, there's, there's two command sets here. So um, the first Compress Archive tells me that my path uh, accepts an array of strings. So that's what that little square bracket there means, uh, that uh, there's more than one string. So that means that the path to more than one file. Now, if we look at my destination, the destination path is only a single string. So what this means is that I can take multiple files and um, put them into an archive, but I cannot um, take multiple files and create multiple output zip files uh, not using this commandlet as it is um, currently designed. Uh, then it also tells me that I can specify a destination path um, my compression level and um, I can update uh, so I, this would mean that I could add additional files to a compressed file if I wanted to. Okay so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to um, look for multiple files so if I say uh, get child item and I go to C colon backslash FSO and I'll say star dot zip uh, or rather start up text and we can see that there's a whole bunch of text files here that are in this particular folder. Uh, if I pipeline my uh, this my output here to uh, compress, uh, hit tab expand, so I don't have to type everything. Compress archive, and then uh, now I'm going to specify that my destination is C colon backslash FSO, and we're just going to call this text uh, backup. Um, dot zip. 
and uh, zippity doo dah. There it goes. And then now, if I use get child item uh, for my c colon backslash fso, and I look for start at zip, then uh, we can see that there's there's several zip files here. There's my text backup. You can see the size of it. Uh, this is the one that was the single backup there. Now, using this exact same technique, uh, for me anyway, uh, backing up tech, uh, plain old text files isn't quite as uh, big of a deal, but uh, what I like to do is uh, script backup and uh, come back over here and change this from txt uh, to ps1. And now this will back up all of my uh, PowerShell scripts uh, into a, um, a zip file, an archive file. But there it is. Go back over here. I can look for my zip files. And there is my script backup. Okay, so that's it. You can see that uh, using the compress archive commandlet is really easy. It's very straightforward. It's also pretty powerful. It's built right into PowerShell 5 on Windows 10. I talk about this in my Hey Scripting Guy blog uh, during the week of, um, of August the um, 12, 13, 14, uh, that kind of stuff. So on the, um, the notes for this, um, I've got uh, links to my earlier articles uh, where I go into more detail about using this particular commandment. My name is Ed Wilson. I'm the Microsoft Scripting Guy, and I hope that you have a, a great week. Bye-bye.